Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Function Plays Doki Doki Literature Club. So, um, I had to take a little bit of a break in between episodes once again. Uh, not too long, though, this time. But um, I felt I had to take a step back, since this game is a lot more demanding of me as a person than uh, I really imagined. So yeah, just as a recap, Sayori, uh, she confessed to us that she's been suffering from depression for a very long time. And uh, this has, you know, thrown things off balance in a major way. We, uh, we just came um, to visit her and uh, unfortunately, instead of being able to stay with her and provide support and all that um we'll have to go now to help yuri with festival preparations so i'm a little bit worried about this uh because sayori seems to be in a particularly uh, vulnerable state i hope she'll be fine there was some foreshadowing uh by monica i believe who as we all know she's kind of a fourth wall breaking uh, entity or whatever uh, whenever I see her she's kind of uh, my lifeline to the to the developers um, especially since I don't think you can romance her or at least uh, you can't initially influence her with your poems but whatever let's not get ahead of ourselves I'm worried of what's going to happen because I've heard, you know, this is more or less the tipping point before the game goes completely crazy, which, whatever that means. So yeah, we're going to be uh, talking to Yuri. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. Yeah, we'll see what that's going to be. Um, yeah, this is just the house next door or not too far away. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Because, yeah, Yuri is going to be visiting us at our home. And I wonder where the parents are. Like, we are still uh, high school students. This is not a house that... Uh, that would be in the, in the sole possession of a student. Same with Sayori, by the way. And I don't think they're living in a, you know, flat share or whatever. But I can also understand if they just decide to leave out the parents for, um, for reasons just to keep the focus strongly on the characters that we have right now. A moment of panic. Yuri? Ah, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. I guess then, still like maybe down the street neighbors or something. Ah, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. Yeah, she seems a little bit ruffled. Should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. Yeah, we're gonna be uh, writing signs and banners or whatever. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. That's very short notice too, like, but maybe that's how uh, he spent his Saturday, just making sure everything was uh, ready for the next day. I'm sure it'll be, it'll be fine. I take Yuri to my room. First thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. There's not any anime stuff lying around. <laughs> uh, as you remember, he described himself as 
an anime slash uh what's this other thing like he wanted to join the anime club i believe so either he's not you know that extremely into it or he conveniently hid everything away it's so clean uh -huh. i cleaned it before you came over so yeah it's probably all in the closet over there that's very considerate for you to do ah no i would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here hmm well i do enjoy cleaning and the other thing is that we have to be aware of here Yuri, as well as Natsuki, if have to admit, uh, and her name is Natsuki, by the way, viewers. I've heard some people express that she should be pronounced Natsuki. That's not it. <laughs> if there's a U at the end of a syllable in Japanese, uh, in the middle of a word at least, the U is almost completely, uh, if it's an unstressed U, I must say, it's uh, almost always, you almost swallow it. The pronunciation is hardly there. Unless you're singing, I guess. Natsuki. Repeat after me. Natsuki. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, both of them seem to be still interested in me, even though they should know that Sayori... Uh, I, I at least am more interested in Sayori than any of the others. But whatever. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. Would have gladly helped you clean. Ah, well, that's still a waste of time. We have work to do. That would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Um, that's a little... Not okay. <laughs> uh, but at least she didn't wait until my back was turned, I guess, before she started snooping. Ah, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. Well, okay then. I was just spacing out. We were just talking, dude. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly, firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, uh, should we get started? Ah, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. She really likes, likes atmosphere. Atmospheric enhancements? You know. Mood lighting. Aromatherapy candles. Okay. It's just, uh, I mean, unless we have a whole room to ourselves just for the presentation of the club, I don't know if that's going to be not even necessary, but I don't know if that's even going to do anything. Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although maybe, I guess I could see that how uh, the festival could take place in uh, a classroom and people would just go by and, and see what's in there or whatever. I was thinking, somehow I was thinking more about uh, it being in a huge hall or somewhere or whatever. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. And be turned to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. I wouldn't have said that, but okay. Ah, intense. I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? I don't really know what he's going for. No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? Why would you start saying that shit? Even though you really know what's going on, you shouldn't mislead people. That makes me feel relieved. And kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. I'm not saying you're not supposed to uh, give friends of the opposite gender, uh, you know, uh, give them compliments when you're interested in somebody else, but she's still, you know, thinking maybe she has a chance, so you shouldn't, shouldn't do that. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? 
Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped uh, object, I mean. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. Okay. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Well, it sounds kind of dark. Just, you know, dark, not, you know, <laughs> anything more than that. Yeah, that would be really neat. What's that wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for, a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are, we, are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Yeah, same thing here. Ah, uh, is that so? It's one of my favorite con contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes the switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on the top. Oh, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is a jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. Okay, you know, we're getting a little bit esoteric here, but whatever. If you're warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that would be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable, but you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She really doesn't often get to do that kind of thing, I guess. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. You won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to, to create a doorway curtain. Okay. Wouldn't that be beautiful? I can't really picture it, honestly. Also, why buy origami paper and not just, you know, regular old printer paper? Like, what's the difference? I, did, I honestly don't know, so I don't know. It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. I guess so. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you put it. Uh -huh. Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? It's understandable. Maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker for Munchen. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. And by characters she means, you know, Japanese, uh, like kanji probably. Uh, you know, in context. I don't know if the developers are Japanese. I'm pretty... I would be surprised actually if they were. Because uh, there's way too much um, meta humor in this game. But, you know, I, I could be wrong as well. And, you know, just saying characters here and poking at that source material is kind of also this game's um, MO so far. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Ah, all right. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yeah, wasn't she supposed to do the writing? That's the whole reason... Uh, Monica suggested she do the decorations, right? Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to, to her desired length. It's less uh, handwriting and more calligraphy, I guess. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh? The knife is strangely be beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. 
The blade itself is gently tinted blue. It's no ordinary pocket knife. Looks really fancy. Ah. Well. Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. Teach stone, you know. Well, you might be surprised. If you promise, you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. Hmm. They're just so pretty. You know when this game starts up, it warns you that it's not, not suitable for children or those easily, uh, uh, not offended. They say a different word. Easily shocked or something like that. Yeah, maybe you should keep that in mind. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. A combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe. Uh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. Ah ha ha. You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. Yeah, I wouldn't possibly laugh at somebody with a knife in their hands. It's, well, it's an interesting, interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. <laughs> I don't know if she, if she wanted to hear that. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense, haha. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife, I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. <sighs> Getting kind of worried. Would you like to hold it? <laughs> Sure, I check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow. Duh. Function. Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. <laughs> That's why I brought it to Arts and Crafts, obviously. It can cut through skin like it's paper. <laughs> okay then. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Don't put my finger in your mouth, please. Ah. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah, uh, without warning, Yuri puts my finger in the mouth and looks at food! Ah! Damn it. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Oh. Please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah. Sure, it was a little weird. It took me by surprise. <laughs> you don't say. But I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I really don't. She doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? <laughs> Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I'd do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return! Uh, okay, then. Function. Yeah, I know. D did you really just do that? I mean, this might turn out okay. <laughs> It's a really weird way of solving a, a like a recovery from an awkward stunt like that, but whatever. Now we even. Dot dot. <laughs> Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> oh really? Ah uh ha -huh. I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird for function. Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri called me weird. 
calling me weird. I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Uh, I don't think I need one actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, Lori stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. <sighs> Speak for yourself. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbons like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. Looks better than I expected and will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thing coming up with this. Yeah, good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, that's right. One of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit of wit of water power. <laughs> Try again. One of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to pe to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it will be too diluted. Okay. Taking your advice, I decide to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. Put them on, on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? Come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Ah, nothing. Uh, your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Ah, uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so... Let's mix the paint. Hmm. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. Still a weird thing to point out. I don't know. Might have some significance. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner. Starting with the colors for a surprise, then daytime, then sunset and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat. Yeah, so it is going to be in the classroom. Good to know. What are you going to write? Well, it'll be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to so serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the arts class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah. I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah. It is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple, like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. It's a, it's a nice uh, view, I guess, view on life. I can certainly appreciate that. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games. Oh yeah, he was an anime and games fan. Where simply sharing the experiences uh, with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. But I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Yeah. Sorry. Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. 
not your fault. Ah, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I got a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. It's like the third? Uh, like, um, zoom in we have on a character? Here. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Ah, is something wrong? It's hot, I just didn't expect it. Oh, the, the towel. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. I finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Eh? Just for a little longer. Hmm. Feels really nice. I mean, you can keep the towel if you want. Uh, I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. Hmm. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze and brought by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist send a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly, suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Don't! Just don't, you guys! Ah. Yuri slowly pulls away. Thank you. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. <sighs> Dodged a bullet? Maybe? The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again. But her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Ah, uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here than have you bring it in, in the morning. Okay, I mean, if there's enough time. I can do the lettering in the classroom before event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. <laughs> yeah, sigh of relief. You got me. You got me there, Phil Function. Uh -huh. You say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? At least a little bit? Ah, uh, no, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah. So you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we would have extra time after finishing the work. Well... Dot dot dot. Was that me saying that? Hold on a second. Yeah, that's my internal monologue. Why did you... I don't get this character sometimes. Yuri thinks to herself. I think it would be too ir irresponsible for me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. So was that an internal monologue on Hunt? It might not have been. It's not in quotation marks. I mean, benefit of the doubt, uh, it might be like a like a typo here in the transcript. Or she can read our minds. You decide. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything, everything done, right? Yeah, I mean, 
it's not like you're not wasting time by arguing about how lo long it took you, you know? <clears throat> yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounded like she'd rarely get the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. <sighs> Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out of the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem, I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to do uh, need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then. Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I can't say that without thinking. What? About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we didn't do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over or we can go out sometime, somewhere. Ah, I forgot you didn't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply breathes, uh, simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... Be very thoughtful of her motion. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. What? She likes my thoughtfulness. And the music stopped, like, dead in its tracks. Well... How am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Uh, Sayori? Eh? Ah. Hi, for function. Um. Sayori. Just now we weren't. Eh. It's okay, for function. We just stopped by to say hi. Um. I mean, she might, uh, Yuri might have been going for the kiss. I can't actually blame her all that much. I can, I can to a certain degree, but my character has not been very careful to make sure she knows what's going on. That's, uh, I don't know. Well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way back to leave. Ah, oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course. The lack of music, man, that's concerning. So we already beams. She does hide her feelings very well, though. Who knows? Yes. Yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Uh, I want to just sit down with Sayori and clear everything up, but I don't know if I'm going to have the choice. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Ah, uh, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know... How much fun you were having with Yuri. And how close you got to her. Fucking... It's not it. It makes me really happy. It does not. I see it from a hundred miles away. Like, the, the tears are not even necessary. That you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down into Yuri's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Fun Motion? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sorry, I don't say that. That's true, Fun Motion. If I wasn't there, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica is right about what? Dot dot dot... Sayori? What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. 
carrying about you like this isn't the burden your mind, mind is making it out to be. Yeah, we, we talked about that in way too much detail last episode. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But, but Sayori looks away. Put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared for Function. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? And tell me what Monica said. I'm scared that that I might like you more than you like me. That's... <sighs> I don't know what the game thinks, like where I am in this relationship, but I've been good, like... You guys uh, remember, I wasn't at the very beginning, I wasn't really that keen on uh, leading Sayori on, but then knowing how close they were and with their chemistry and in, in their characters and dialogue it seemed the logical choice and she grew on me over time actually and so yeah I took every possible decision or every possible dialogue choice to make sure the both of them can be together but maybe the game is not that convinced yet Sayori it's true isn't it I was weak and started to like you too much I did this to myself. Oh, Monction. I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And, and, that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. Slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her head in my own. Do you remember how, how I said I s always know what's best for you? You still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need to uh, what you need the most right now, and that's what I'm going to give to you. That's you guys know what I'm gonna choose, <laughs> but I'm still gonna split the episode here because honestly, um, if I want to go back to this game and maybe replay it some more, uh, this might be a good save point, so yeah, um, keep your eyes peeled for the next episode, because uh, I'm pretty sure this is gonna go off the rails pretty soon, even though I think I've been, I kept, uh, uh, kept promising that for the last, I don't know, like two or three episodes, but whatever. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Thank <music> you.